all right page of pentacles is the current situation looks like there is communication coming in if you haven't received this yet then do expect communication okay someone wants to offer you something small something substantial okay but this is something very concrete okay this is a solid start to something someone's thinking about you very seriously and they definitely are coming in with communication here this person wants to invest into you of course it's coming up as a page here although on your mind is the king of pentacles you want stability you want security all right and um but we have the king and the queen here so which means that there are very very strong chances of you both getting married or getting into a very long-term commitment here I feel with the king of pentacles here on their mind, this person is definitely looking for something long term here. Okay. And you on the other hand, you are also looking for something long term. Okay. So you're both like literally like on the same page right now. With the chariot here, I think um, you're acting single right now. Okay. You're acting single, being single. You're very focused on your money, your goals, your career, etc. Whilst well, this person out here, right? I feel this person wants to communicate with you or their attitude is more like, you know what? No more bullshit going on. This person wants to clearly come towards you because deep within, this person is wishing, hoping and praying that things can be okay between you guys. I feel there could have been a tower moment between you guys. Okay. Things could have completely crumbled between you guys. And now this person is wanting to rebuild the connection with you. That's a huge reconciliation card. You, on the other hand here, I don't feel like you want to reconcile with this person, okay, because you're okay on your own is what I'm getting. This person is watching you, okay, wanting, seeking commitment from you, but you're okay on your own and I feel you have this strong sense of, deter you know, this strong willingness to move forward. You want to move away from this person, okay, because I think with the Nine of Pentacles, you've learned your lessons. You've realized that this person was not worth it. Okay, because I feel this person could have kept the truth away from you all this while. They could have cheated, they could have lied, there could have been a lot of miscommunication, okay. Uh, there could have been a lot of manipulation is also what I'm hearing. Okay, but now this person's coming back with a page here. I feel there's a return of some sort here. But you both are pretty matured here. You have that arrogance, you know. I'm getting that arrogance here with the Queen of Pentacles here. You, I'm, but not arrogance in a bad way more like say self-worth like i'm okay on my own bro i got this i don't need you to what look the hierophant at the bottom of the deck this is long-term commitment someone wants to commit to you someone is definitely being able to change their ways of what they were you know probably you're dealing with someone who was very set and stubborn in their ways about how they viewed a situation maybe this person was someone non-committal and now in their mind is commitment you on the other hand here you stop investing into this person and I think now you want to move forward because you realize your worth and value, like I said. You're more focused on the mundane things in life or you're more focused on creating the stability and value. If this person is not being able to give it to you, you're okay doing it on your own. And you're moving forward. Once this person is coming in wanting a brand new start with you, they want a brand new beginning with you. And this person, when they come in this time with their communication, this person wants a lot of a beginning with a lot of transparency, a lot of truth. Okay. What's the page of pentacles? Three of swords. Yeah, see, this person wants to come back to reconcile. There was definitely a third party situation. Okay, now definitely third party does not mean third person that was romantically involved. Third party could be anything. Person, place, thing, family member, work, business, money, career, goals. Anything that was coming between you guys. Could be a belief system. Could be an approach. Okay, could be tradition. Anything that was coming between you guys, right? Now, there has been some kind of pain here, heartache here. But now this person wants to come towards you and wanting to reconcile, okay? They want to heal. They want your forgiveness. And they want to rebuild the structure because they can't take it here. See? That, like I said, something ended between you guys, okay? For sure. This person's transformed. They've changed themselves. They're coming towards you with a changed attitude. The magician. I haven't even asked for a card and the magician came out, so I'm going to take it. Um... This is someone who now has learned their lesson and I feel this person has that strong determination to make things happen with you. They're secretly manifesting you, okay? But I feel this person is hell-bent on making things happen with you. This death card, whatever happened, right? Something taught them a huge lesson, okay? And now they're coming towards you with the best of intentions. Um, tell me about the king of pentacles. 
yeah the fool this person wants to take a brand new leap of faith with you okay they want to start this all over again i think this person was unsure in the past of whether they wanted to take a, a leap of faith with you or not you probably were risky business for them or this was a risky relationship or a connection they were not sure if they want to do this because something that they want to do is starting from scratch okay they're going on a new journey with you but i think with the king of pentacles here this person is definitely looking for something long term with you okay this person could have kept you at a crossroads they kept you waiting uh, on a decision okay but now i think they're finally making up their mind of wanting to take the sleep of faith with you what's the star what's the star here i mean in their emotions they are hoping much in praying that i mean they have a positive attitude at least that things will be okay what's the star temperance yeah they're taking things very very slow okay they want to maintain balance this person definitely want to wants to maintain balance they want to take it slow they're being very patient with the progress here uh they don't want to push you for anything is what i'm getting but this person wants to give you your time okay and they want to take the time too okay because this is something that they're starting brand new they've never experienced this they're inexperienced about whatever connection they're getting into or whatever they have with you okay there could be something very different between you guys and this person probably thinks something was very unorthodox or something that was very out of the box to experience okay for the higher of it but i feel whatever this person is doing now this person is no longer wanting to push their agenda on you you know they no longer want answers right now and right now a lot of healing energy a lot of reconciliation energy from this person side out here okay and wanting to make things right they want to work with you they want to build with you this person knows that whatever they want with you it has a very good future and now they want to build a future with you because something they feel has a very strong potential ace of swords that their attitude towards you was that they want to cut through the bullshit basically no more screwing around just dealing with a lot of logic they're not letting their emotions overpower the logic they're not letting their emotions get the best of them what's the ace of swords king of cups hmm. i think this person wants to finally tell you the truth because this person earlier was someone you know who was hiding the truth they were not being able to reveal their feelings for you someone here who loves you to the moon and back but this is someone here who keeps their feelings to themselves that's a very reserved person you know it's shy king right so this person loves you a lot but they never really had the courage to open up to you okay never really had the courage to reveal the truth to you and now they want to come in with the ace of swords here oh damn they're going to tell you everything you'll know you know how much this person loves you and you know, how what you mean to them because with the king of cups and the king of pentacles yeah someone looks like they're ready for marriage someone's ready for marriage i keep getting the death at the bottom of the deck there has been a huge transformation that this person's gone through you could have had there could have been a significant time period that you waited for this person to come towards you okay but i think the waiting period was so much that you just were like you know what i'm okay on my own because with the charity i see you moving away from this person rather than moving towards them while they are coming wanting to come towards you this person didn't reveal their feelings which and because of that they came off to be someone very emotionally manipulative okay queen of pentacles why is this here why is the queen of pentacles here on aries's mind why is the queen of pentacles here on aries's mind the judgment see i told you you're treating this as a missed opportunity it's like well yeah maybe you came back but a little too late it's like you have been the universe has been telling you to move away from this person all this while or it's asking you to move on but now finally you have this realization that you know what this is what i was meant to do this is what my purpose was and my purpose is to be okay on my own you are very focused on your career your goals your money okay but everything else but this person or this connection i don't think you are interested in making this connection work with this person anymore because you're like i'm okay on my own the judgment is a card of reconciliation but to me here it looks like more like a card where you want, you're making a final decision there's a final decision there's an outcome to something that's finally out okay and to you it's the missed opportunity with this person they come back they are coming back and if for you if they haven't they are coming back but i think you're just going to be like pretty assertive about not wanting this person back you're just being very practical and grounded about this decision you're not letting your emotions affect your decision the chariot here in your emotions why is this here hmm see 
there's been a betrayal here there's been a lot of backstabbing and betrayal here okay for you it's the end of this i think you're like you know what what happened happened you're gonna let it go in the past because this person could have put you through hell you're in pursuit of happiness this person is no longer your happiness is what i'm getting aries because you this person probably tortured the shit out of you they literally messed with your emotions big time i think that waiting period where this person took their own time to come towards you was something that literally fucked you up and i think with the ten of swords you're putting an end you're putting things to rest you're accepting that things are over between you both and you're wanting to move away from them because this has caused you a lot of mental anguish and you're like i'm done with this you're 120% done with this connection they're not they want to restart the connection and this time they're coming in pretty serious it's going to be up to you aries don't let me tell you what to do but i'm just saying what the cards are saying uh what's the nine of pentacles this is your attitude oh my god so badass aries look at your attitude so badass so sexy so confident so focused on yourself your money your growth nine of pentacles please why is the nine of pentacles here nine of pentacles please death here oh the hierophant at the bottom of the deck i think you're definitely putting an end to this see ten of swords and the death here i was first going to say the ten of swords is still a minor arcana i still don't see the death here and there is just come in i think you're letting this go aries you're just letting it go because i just feel somehow somehow you have You know what I'm getting you've raised your standards of the kind of partner you're wishing and hoping for. This couldn't be for all of you, but most of you I feel are letting this person go. Okay? Because with the 3 of swords here something's caused a lot of pain to you, okay? And you've been waiting for this person, you've healed. Okay, you've done your healing and you're moving forward. Was this person out here now is like, you know, I should have given her the commitment. I should have given him the commitment. Okay, whatever. Take it out resonates. Now they want to come towards you and open up about their feelings, etc., okay? They're coming up as a page. So probably in the current situation you may not realize that this is what this person really wants with you but what they want is they want something very serious with you okay and they're ready to go up to any limit to do it they can make this happen with you and they're very confident about it they have that willingness and you on the other hand have the willingness and determination that you can overcome this connection that has put you through so much pain and you're wanting to move away from this person you're putting an end to this person or this connection here Um Give me one more card for the 9 of pentacles and the death here. Give me one more card for the 9 of pentacles and the death here. Ah, uh, you're moving forward. I said that. You're trusting your intuition, Aries, and your intuition is asking you not to wait for this person or your intuition is asking you to just focus at least for time being to focus on yourself. You're going through a huge transformation of the wheel of fortune here. I feel things are now finally in your favor. Okay, this person's finally come back. Okay, the things are taking a turn. There's a turning point in your connection here, but I think you're moving forward. You're no longer wanting to wait for this person. Okay, you're moving forward. Okay, you're going away from this person, and that's what attracting this person towards you. That is it. turn of events here but that change is something that you didn't expect all this while but it's the changes happen after a very long time and now you're like you know what well okay it happened it happened but the frustrating delays that you went through and whatever that you went through i feel you don't want this person back i feel you don't want this person back and you're seeing positive growth and expansion in the near future somewhere else or with someone else or just okay on your own but i don't think it has any to do with this person who's coming back towards you and wanting to give you offer you something stable something committed something secure okay so that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye